own VTSAX, see that it's reporting 199A dividends. I'm Sean Mullaney, financial planner. Let's discuss. So VTSAX, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, is one of the most popular investment vehicles in the United States. It is comprised of over 4,100 U.S. companies, right? So VTSAX owns all this different stock of all these different companies that are based in the United States, and it's over all these sectors of the economy. One of those sectors is real estate. If you looked at VTSAX at the end of 2021, you would see that about 3.8% of the fair market value of VTSAX was comprised of real estate investment trusts, so-called REITs, right? Those are companies that invest in U.S. real estate. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it means that VTSAX pays dividends to its shareholders, including Section 199A dividends. If you looked at VTSAX for the year 2021, it had a dividend yield of roughly 1.2%. So every $100,000 of VTSAX paid approximately $1,200 of dividends to the shareholders. Of those dividends paid to the shareholders, about 4.6% were the Section 199A dividends. Those are reported to the shareholders on a Form 1099-DIV, right? Your taxable brokerage institution sends you that form every year. They also send it to the IRS, and it's reported on your tax return. Well, so what, right? What does that mean? It's a Section 199A dividend. Well, it's actually pretty good news. What it means is that the shareholder gets something called a qualified business income deduction on their tax return. And with VTSAX, it works something like this. For every $100,000 of VTSAX you own in 2021, you get something like $55 worth of Section 199A dividends. That results at a 20% rate in a $11 federal income tax deduction. That's a little good news, right? You get a federal income tax deduction, but let's unpack it. First, Think about that dividend yield that you get from these REITs. I mentioned that 3.8% of VTSAX was comprised of these REITs, but of the dividends paid, it's not 3.8%, it's almost 4.6%. Isn't that a little odd? Well, there's some reasons for that. REITs are a special kind of company from a U.S. tax perspective. Under the American tax rules, REITs pay out over 90% of their net income to their shareholders. The benefit the company gets is, if they do that, they don't pay corporate income tax. So that's a pretty heavy incentive for these REITs to pay out a whole lot of dividends. That's an incentive other companies don't have. So it turns out that REITs tend to, compared to most industries, pay a higher dividend you know, than you would see in other industries. And that's a, the main reason you're seeing 4.6% of the dividends in VTSAX are being paid by REITs when they only comprise about 3.8% of VTSAX. Another thing to keep in mind about this deduction, the Section 199A Qualified Business Income Deduction for these REIT dividends, is that everyone gets that deduction. It doesn't matter if you choose to do the standard deduction or you choose to itemize your deductions on your tax return. Guess what? You get this qualified business income deduction for the Section 199A dividends. Regardless, it goes on top of that deduction, whether standard or itemized. So that's a nice feature. Another feature, there's absolutely no income limit on taking this deduction. You don't have to worry about your taxable income or what's my modified adjusted gross income. Not for this purpose. Don't worry about it. You can make a billion dollars and you still get the Section 199A deduction for REIT dividends. Lastly, this only applies to those Section 199A dividends paid in a taxable brokerage account. If you hold VTSAX or any other security that pays Section 199A dividends, in a retirement account or an HSA, that's great, that's lovely. You know, if that's what you wanna do, no problem, but it doesn't result in this Section 199A 
dividend and it does not result in a tax deduction. The only place you get a tax deduction for these 199A dividends is if you hold it in a taxable brokerage account. Those other accounts, you're not currently taxed on the income inside them, so you don't get the qualified business income deduction. Just unpacking this VTSAX, a very popular security, and it's Section 199A dividends this weekend. Uh, lastly, just note, this is not investment advice for anyone, right? So I'm just trying to explore an interesting topic from a tax perspective. But please make your own investment decisions. I'm not giving you advice in this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.